my name is Kayla Mallon, and welcome to another Moby Max training video. Today we'll talk about fact fluency. With fact fluency, students keep their math facts sharp while learning new facts quickly as they progress through the lessons. Let's take a look. Students begin the fact fluency module with a placement test. It will take about 10 minutes and we'll find out where to start the student. During the test, students have six seconds to answer questions. Students start with addition problems, and the placement test ends when a student gets six facts incorrect. The student is ready to begin after the placement test. And you'll notice that because of the placement test, the student is starting here with some easy addition problems. And we would suggest that the student practice every day to develop math fact fluency quickly. At any time, you can check on student progress by clicking on the Fact Fluency button from your dashboard. With a student snapshot, see a breakdown of student proficiency by fact type, see which fact type the students practiced last and how they did, and if you click on the student's name from the snapshot, you can see the Fact Fluency dashboard. With the dashboard, you can see exactly what the student has mastered by fact type. With the calendar, you can see when your student is practicing. On yellow days, the student worked less than five minutes, and green days, more than five minutes. When we look at the March calendar, we can see that the student worked hard this week, but then began to lose some momentum the next week. At a glance, you get to see how hard your students are working. And the color coding in the fact fluency table quickly shows you what a student has mastered and how many consecutive times the student has answered the fact correctly. If the student has gotten the correct answer once or twice in a row, the fact will turn yellow. If the student has gotten the correct answer three times in a row, the fact will turn green. If at any point the student gets the incorrect answer, the fact will turn white and the count will start over. And with one click, you can see exactly when the student has practiced, the fact area, how they did, and how long they practiced. You have complete control to make sure each student is getting what they need. To change student settings, click on the gear icon and you can either have Moby automatically assign facts based on the placement test or assign facts yourself. And you can control the number of minutes students practice each day. We have found that daily practice that is short works well to get students to master math facts quickly. You can adjust the amount of time students have to answer the problem. This is automatically set to 10 seconds which is enough time to allow students to answer without getting discouraged. But you can always change that for your students who can answer quicker or students who may need more than 10 seconds. You can also set the highest fact level for students to practice. Moby automatically sets it at 10 because when students master, say, their multiplication facts up to 10, they are memorizing 100 facts and increasing the threshold to just 12 means students need to learn 144. The return on effort may not be worth it, but you always have the freedom to change the setting up to 15. You set the daily goal for students, and every student can have their own individual goals. Students get to see the daily goal that the teacher has set to know exactly what the teacher expects from them each day. When they click on the Goals button, they can see the goal the teacher has set and if they've been meeting that goal. As students complete their daily goals and practice facts, they receive immediate feedback if they answer the question wrong. The feedback is the same as in the Moby Math curriculum and will help remind students how to do this particular addition fact. You will see that when students practice every day, they will become fluent in the fact. It's a fact.